In order for us to create healthy communities, we need to advocate. We need to advocate for policy that supports the work we're doing. We need to advocate for our patients and our clients to be healthy. We need to advocate um, for ourselves. Human Impact Partners is all about trying to bring the power of public health to campaigns and movements for a just society. So we do research, we do um, training and technical assistance, we do direct advocacy, but ultimately our goal is really to try and activate this power of public health to support movements for a just society. The people that we're serving are those same very people that community organizing groups are also mobilizing. Um, to address justice, fairness, equity. And so our health department has partnered with those types of organizations recently around issues such as housing. Here in Alameda County, we've actually done several campaigns and we've done several efforts, I think, with public health campaigns to keep the water um, and utilities on and foreclose housing. Um, we've worked on a range of policy issues, including like pushing back on evictions, stopping evictions, keeping housing affordable. And all of these were overall successful in that both the community organizations and public health agencies playing their roles really well. Public health as a field to me has always been rooted in social justice. I think it's foundational to the mission of public health, kind of starting with Jon Snow and the Broad Street Pumps, and then we see from you know vaccine creation and polio eradication. Public health has always been about creating health for everybody. Public Health Awakened is a project of Human Impact Partners. We're a national network of public health professionals organizing for health equity and justice. We formed after the 2016 election and we are calling on public health professionals from all across public health to use their voice, their power, their resources to um, stand up for communities and be involved in social justice movements and respond to threats that our communities are seeing. What we need in public health are more transformative narratives around how the sort of larger policies and systems and practices that surround us are what determine the individual choices we make. One of the first things that Public Health Awaken did after we formed was we created this guide called the Public Health Actions for Immigrant Rights Guide that's made up of nine action steps that public health departments can take to protect their immigrant clients and to support immigrant communities. So what a public health department does in terms of immigrant rights is gonna look really different depending on where they're located, what the community that they work in looks like, and what the political um, environment that they're in is. We have a very large immigrant population and so when issues around immigration come up and when they came up, Clients were afraid to access services. Our staff um, also were concerned about not only our clients, but about their friends, their relatives. Um, and so we really felt that we had to speak about the issue. We held different forums for our staff, what we call them town halls, to remind them that we are still here for everyone, we serve everyone, no programs here are changing. We don't ask immigration status as a part of our services and we weren't going to start. If we want people to have access to all of these kinds of um, you know, factors that can improve their health, both at an individual level, at a family level, at a community level, we want to start to think about actually redressing some of these power imbalances. Public health folks bringing research, bringing policy recommendations, um, and actually really doing a very clear and present job to uplift health impacts in a very uh, both scientific, data-driven, and um, and compelling way, um, and then partnering well with community groups who are doing this work in such a way that the relationship is accountable, it's healthy, and it's frankly inspiring. When, when these partnerships work well, they're, they're actually very inspiring. What motivates me to do this work is our future. Really for me, justice. What motivates me to continue in public health, I think, is hope and science.
What motivates me? My kids, my family, and the community of people in public health that I work with and love dearly.